Taking our file My Bedroom with Resources Assign, you'll find that we now have our bedroom tasks and all the resources assigned, and you can see them in the Gantt chart. People and the materials and the cost types. So you can see glue there at $45. So that was a cost type assigned and then given a set value. Now in project 2013, if we want to add a fixed cost to a task, we could use one of the cost types, such as glue that we've got and assign that to a task and give it a value. But we might want to physically call it a fixed cost. So it's a cost associated with a task that has a fixed value. Now these kind of fixed costs can also be assigned to the summary tasks because they don't have any bearing on what's happening in effect because they're not driven by how long the task takes, they're not driven by the materials used within the task, they're not driven by one of the cost types that you want to put in as we have done for glue. But to add a fixed cost in, we cannot do that in the current sheet. Now to date, we've only looked at one sheet. This here on the left hand side is a sheet it's a task pane, it's a table as far as project is concerned, and it looks like a table. Now we can change the table using the view ribbon. And you'll see in the little section here called data, there's a tables drop down, and there's not just one or two, there's quite a few tables. Now we're currently using and have been using, and will use most often, the table entry. But if we change that to the cost table, you'll see that the column headings change slightly. Now we still have the task name, let's just widen that. We lose the indicator column, and we have a lot of cost columns now. We have a fixed cost column, fixed cost accrual. These are the new columns that we're currently interested in. But there's also a total cost column, and there are some values in here. These values have been created by assigning costs, assigning resources. So it's going to cost $75 to measure the room. That's based on the time of me. If we pick one with other bits, this one here, plaster the walls, has a total cost of $486 based on the decorator's time and three packets of plaster. Now we can look, and we will shortly, at how that $486 is broken down. But for the moment, we're interested in adding a fixed cost. And now that we have the cost table in view, we can add that fixed cost. So we can add a fixed cost to any of our tasks, even the summary task here, right at the top. So I might want to add a fixed cost to this project of $2,000. So I simply add in $2,000. How's that actually calculated? Prorated at the start or at the end? We're going to put it at the start. The only problem now, though, is we don't actually have anywhere to put where that $2,000 has come from. What is it for? It's just a fixed cost. So to explain the $2,000 fixed cost, we're actually going to open up the task information box and go to the notes and add a note to explain that $2,000. $2,000 fixed cost is our contingency. So that's the money we've put aside to cover unwelcome or unexpected costs. And by adding a note, in here, I will get a little post-it note in the indicator column, which I cannot see here. But when we turn back to our entry table, I see I have a little post-it and I can hover. And the $2,000 fixed cost is our contingency money. Now you can add a fixed cost to any of your tasks simply by changing the table to the cost table. And it may be that you have a fixed cost for adding a wicker chair. $200 fixed cost. Again, we have to decide how that's calculated. Well, that's going to be at the start of the task. But because there's no label to explain that, we need to go into the section to add a note. So we're using the task information's own notes section to add a note about that fixed cost because the fixed cost itself does not have a label option. The $200 for wicker chair fee. Apparently, there's a wicker chair license fee. Okay. And I change back to the entry table to carry on with my work. And I see the little post-it note there explaining the fixed cost. So that's how to add in fixed costs to your project. They can be added to any of the tasks, any of the summary tasks, or even, as you've seen, to the actual project summary task. And that value will then get added in to the total costs of the project.